Hi guys, my name is Rajan, also known as The Dentist Raj, and if you're new around here, I'm a dentist student at King's College London. And today we're going to be talking all about money, and unfortunately, not about the money that we can make as a dentist, but rather the amount of money you need to be paying to be a dental student in the UK. In my previous video, I discussed the recent news coming out of Scotland dental schools, where um, it was essentially confirmed that all students were going to have to retake a year because of the coronavirus. And this got me thinking because one of the ramifications of retaking a year of dental school is the financial cost. Now, I know these costs, you know, vary from university to university, place to place. It depends wherever you study. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go off my own experience where I study. So I study in London at King's College London. And wherever you're going to study or wherever you study, you can just adjust those costs accordingly. These costs are also going to include social activities and experiences. So we're just going to try to ignore the fact that COVID is happening and think of a proper university experience. If you want to be realistic and keep it to a COVID university environment, then you can obviously take away the social costs. And we'll also base this off a 42 week academic year, not really taking account for the 10 weeks of holidays. So here's how we're going to lay out the video. We'll start by talking about tuition fees, how much um, it really costs to study at university, before then moving on to rent and how much it costs to live out, because we'll be going off the basis that I do live out rather than living at home during university. We'll then talk about further living costs, such as food, groceries, transport, that kind of thing, before then obviously going into social costs as I mentioned. To finish we'll talk about how much it actually costs in total over the five years and then how you can use student finance to bring those costs down. If you haven't already go down below and hit that subscribe button it would really help me out. We're on the path to 300 subscribers so make sure you're one of the first 300 and also if we can hit 50 likes on this video I'll be hugely appreciative and it might mean that I bring out a video next week about how much dentists can earn. Without further ado let's get into it. So just to give you a bit of background about me I'm a resident in the UK I'm living out of university and I'm quite socially active so that will kind of give you some idea about how we're going to run through these costs and to begin with we're going to be talking about tuition fees tuition fees if you're a resident in the uk comes out at around nine thousand two hundred and fifty pounds a year it was nine thousand pounds in my first year but then um the 2017 acad 18 academic year it got raised for no reason for nine thousand two hundred and fifty pounds these can be paid um purely through student finance uh, as we'll discuss later uh, and it's what i do but i know a lot of people just pay this money um directly um themselves so now let's talk about rent and how much it actually costs to live out this is obviously going to vary a lot depending on where you live and where you study but for me uh, I lived in Stamford Street Halls in my first year uh, and that cost £200 a week it's gone up quite a lot since then but although Covid may have um, adjusted those prices slightly then in my second year I lived at home let's not talk about that it was kind of dead and then uh, in my third and fourth years of university um, I lived out with my friend called Amun uh, and we lived in this beautiful flat in um, Southwark a two-bedroom apartment and I was actually paying around £240 a week Unfortunately, COVID put an end to that. Uh, I moved back home for a bit. And then for this academic year, I'm actually living out with my sister in a really homely two bedroom flat in Elephant and Castle. And that comes out at around £160 a week. Uh, and so if we just look at all three of those costs, 200, 240, 160, and just take the cost, which is slap bang in the middle uh, as a figure we're going to use for this video, £200 a week, because you only really lived in halls of residence for one year out of your five years at dental school. And so using a 52 week contract, the cost for a flat, which comes out at around £200 a week, actually costs £10,250 across the whole year and yeah obviously i just did that straight off the top of my head right now okay so if we're talking about living costs i must admit that i'm not the best cook uh, and i will order delivery uber eats justy um quite often and so for the purposes of this video let's say that i'm ordering delivery or something twice a week and i'm cooking for myself five times a week so groceries for breakfast and lunch throughout the week and then dinner for five times a week comes out around 37 pound 50 across the week this is 180 pounds over the month and 1890 pounds over a 42 week academic year if we then add on two uh, ordered meals uh, through delivery, just eat whatever, um, let's say it's £15 each, comes out as £30 across the week, um, £30 over four weeks is £120, so roughly £1,260 over the course of the year, which brings our total living costs to £3,150 for the year. On to travel costs, as a dental student, I didn't really have to use public transport too much in first year. Uh, I remember I was at Stamford Street, which is based in Waterloo, so if I was ever running late to clinics so or I didn't fancy the walk, which is about 20 minutes to Guy's Campus, I would take the tube from uh, Waterloo to London Bridge, um, but when you're in your third or fourth or fifth years, you do have to go to uh, outreach campuses such as Denmark Hill, where you have to take the bus or the tube. And so if we add on general travel expenses, we can estimate travel at maybe £5 a week, £20 for the month, £840 for the academic year. It's ridiculous how quickly these costs can tot up. But I'm not looking forward to the next section, but let's estimate for the sake of this video that there's a social event that we go to maybe once a week. I know that's an unrealistic under exaggeration for some of you and an over exaggeration for um, some others of you but let's just hope that it's kind of an average uh, for the university experience the social event you know could be um it can be a dinner it can be going to the cinema it can be going bowling it can be whatever but for the purposes of the university video let's say that it's a night out since for students and going out is lit and as i've said just adjust according to the university that you go to so priest costs five pounds so let's say club entry costs two pound fifty sports night can cost one pound ministry student night tuesdays can cost five pounds so let's use two pound fifty 
as that middle ground £1.40 because you don't want to get that fly new jacket dirty and now it's about how much you're going to pay for drinks now if any of my friends are watching this is how much I wish I paid per night um, and we're going to say around £20 I think is a fair ballpark number for how much you should be spending um, every single night um, that you go out and drinks for yourself and for your friends if you're not spending £20 a night maybe buy your friends a few more drinks in total that comes out at around £28.50 a night which is £140 for the month and £1,197 for the year oh my goodness my parents are not going to be happy other costs, so let's say you join a few societies which have annual membership fees, um, you want to buy some of that Peng Densok merch, um, you need to buy your two tunics in the first year um, when you, for when you go on clinic, uh, and let's say you also want to join Scott Composite here um, to improve your skills. This comes out at around £150 a year, but let's use £153 as a nice ballpark figure to give us a round number. Right, so overall it costs £24,840 a year to study dentistry in the UK. The BDS course usually lasts five years, so if we add all those costs up, it comes out at around £100. 24,200 pounds to study dentistry in the UK. So now let's talk about student loans quickly. In the UK, student loans are run by the government, um, a company known as Student Finance, and um, your student loans are divided into tuition fees and maintenance fees. Your tuition fees are, you know, what you pay to the university to actually study the course, the 9,250 pounds. And you can actually get a tuition loan which is paid directly to the university and completely bypasses you. We then have maintenance fees, which come out at around £5,981 a year, I got that right. And um, this goes in three instalments uh, once every term into your own bank account, and you can pay that how you please. If we take those costs over a course of five years, it comes out at £76,155. And this leaves around £48,000, um, which needs to be paid out of your own pocket over those, over those five years. Of course, with that 76 k you then need to pay that back over the course of your career at an interest of around 5.6%. However, the money that you pay back is very much according to how much you actually earn as a dental professional or anything else if you choose to go through a different path after you graduate. And therefore the student loans that you actually have to pay back don't amount to too much in comparison to your annual income. It's definitely worth the cost to study dentistry in the UK in comparison to what you can end up making, which I might be talking about next week um, over the course of your career. So in conclusion, around £125,000 is what it costs to become a dentist in the UK, obviously um, passing all the exams as well. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and leave a like and comment if you have any questions about the costs. Otherwise, I'm The Dentist Raj and I'll see you guys next time.